All right, guys, we are going to unbox the Aperture LED lights. These are the 528. They have 528 LEDs. Uh, these are the boxes that they come in, and these are the bags that are inside the box. So um, let me get rid of these boxes. All right, so the bags are pretty nice, uh, pretty well made, and it keeps the kit all together so you make sure you're not uh, losing anything. Um, as you can see, there's three lights here. These are three different lights. Uh, one is an all daylight uh, wide angle beam. The other is an all daylight uh, spotlight. And the other one is a color temperature adjustable light. Uh, so we'll take a look at all three of those. All right, so I've already unboxed these, but um, they do come with uh, other protective packaging, manuals, cards. Um, this is the light right here. This uh, model is the spotlight version. So what you're going to see is one dimmer knob, on off button, DC input, and a uh, digital display. And uh, we'll get to that in a second. It does come with a tungsten filter here. And then on the other side, you're gonna see an AC, DC power cord, the brick. And then they're giving you a full uh, light stand adapter, not like a mini ball head. Uh, there's a quarter 20 thread on top here, but uh, it has a light stand adapter here. And then you can also use it with an umbrella if you need to. So it's a full light stand adapter. Let's take a look at the uh, other light before we get too much into the details. So this one right here does not come with a uh, tungsten gel. The reason why is this is the bicolor version. So you're gonna have two dimmers here. One uh, dims the light output and the other adjusts the color temperature. Uh, everything else is the same. You have a AC DC input here, on off power switch and a digital battery display. And uh, if you didn't notice, there's two battery slots here. The filters are drop in. And the other light pretty much looks exactly the same. So this light right here only has one dimmer knob. Um, and the difference is one is gonna be more of a spotlight where it directs all the power uh, towards the center. And this one here is gonna be more of a, a wide beam spread. And hopefully we'll get to some tests uh, later today on that. This one, because it's not color temperature adjustable, you have a drop-in filter, uh, drop-in tungsten filter. All right, so taking a closer look inside the bag here, we have a three pin circular uh, terminal here. Um, this is not extremely proprietary. Uh, you can find them if you happen to lose your charger, uh, but this is not as common as the other LED lights, which are using the uh, coaxial or uh, barrel tip type DC plugs. Um, and then the LED light here, um, the LED light here has two battery slots. Uh, unlike the other LED lights on the market, uh, you, ha you actually have to have both batteries in uh, before you can power it on. So you can't power it with just one battery. You, you definitely have to have two installed. Um, so that's one thing to note. Uh, the good thing is that this LED light, unlike the other LED lights here, um, if your battery is running low, you can plug it into the wall, uh, but it'll actually recharge the batteries from this unit. Uh, so that's something that's kind of handy is you're powering your LED light off of the, uh, the wall outlet, uh, but at the same time you're recharging your batteries and then, you know, when you're done charging it up, you're ready to go back on uh, battery power. Uh, the digital display is very nice as well. If you're uh, happening to just kind of glance at your light, you can tell how much power you have uh, rather than walking over to each individual light and checking the uh, battery meter that some of the other LED lights have. So uh, those are some... Um, features of the Amaran LED light. So let's get into the um, tests. All right, the first LED light I have up here is the 528W. This is supposed to throw a very wide beam and um, you can see how far it diffuses. It is stretched out over 10 feet. Uh, my camera settings here are 1 60th at F4. I'm shooting on the GH3 at ISO 200. And the light is four feet from the wall. All right, so at four feet away, we are getting 
985 lux. Uh, this is only one color and it's at full brightness. Uh, the color temperature is at 5820. All right, so the next light I have here is a 528S. Now this one is the spotlight, so most of the light should be concentrated down the middle. Uh, again, the light is about four feet away. All right, so let's measure this uh, spotlight here. 2,220 lux. Now the other model, the wide beam angle, had 985 lux. So this one has 2,220. So uh, you can see how much brighter it is down the middle. Uh, but compared to the previous 528W, you can see that it doesn't have the same diffusion or spread over 10 feet. And the uh, color temperature on this reading here says 6100. All right, so now we have the 528C, which is uh, the one that can shift color uh, between 3200 and 5600K. Um, you can see how far or how wide the diffusion is. And uh, let's go in and measure the light output. All right, we've switched it to um, full daylight, so it's only using half the LEDs in the panel. Uh, so our Lux reading from this one is 498. Um, the wide version had 985, and the spotlight version had 2,220. So you can see how different the brightness is. So again, uh, this is going to have a lower light output because it's only using half the LEDs in the panel when it's using um, daylight. And then when you switch to tungsten, it will use the uh, other set of LED lights. And then somewhere in between, you can mix them and it'll um, be a little bit brighter. The color temperature reading here is 5870. All right, so that's a quick look at the uh, Aperture Amaran LED lights. Um, as you can see here, there are threads on the side, uh, and one on this side, one at the bottom here, and that's so you can use it in either landscape or portrait mode. Not that I think it makes a difference because it looks like it kind of has a very equal circle when it uh, diffuses. Um, on this version right here, this is the bicolor. You can see that when you adjust this knob here, it uh, changes the Kelvin um, on the display, and then over here, it tells you the uh, brightness output, so here is 99%, uh, and then it also has a battery meter here um, to visually tell you if your battery is running low or not. Uh, so that's kind of handy just glancing at your lights without having to press any buttons, um, your on off switch. And again, the, the cable here is using a three pin uh, circular connector, um, not the uh, barrel tip type, but the benefit is you get to charge your batteries while it's in the LED light. Uh, when you're plugged into a wall. So that's a pretty handy feature there. Um, anyways, there's more tests that I need to do. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into how accurate the uh, color temperature is or whether this has a green or magenta cast um, because the light meter that I'm using is not really intended for LED lights, but it will give me a good baseline on like, uh, you know, brightness, lux output. And uh, in the video, you can also see uh, how much diffusion each of the uh, LEDs have over a spread of 10 feet. Um, so there is some handy um, tests that, that are being done in this video, but hopefully I'm gonna get a more accurate LED meter and then that's when I'll really get uh, into some hard numbers. Um, but for now, this is all kind of just uh, a general project and a general comparison of some of the things that I'm doing. But uh, in this video particularly, it's all about the Aperture Amaran lights um, so for more information about these, check out the blog at cheesycam.com.